The child was just 12 years old. Her body found at an old cement plant. And bullying drove Sedwick to take her own life. She was bullying a classmate to the point that she killed herself. She took her own life. She took her own life because she was being bullied, bullied to death. And I just lost my world. That's very unfortunate um, that, that, that it's gotten that far, you know what I'm saying, that, that a young teenage girl would actually take a life. That just lets us know, lets everybody know, lets society know that everybody's not doing a job. Bullying is, I mean, it's stupid, you know, why, why would you bully on somebody? What do you need to, to bully someone about what is what makes you better than another person? Like, I don't care what household you grew up in, you, you shouldn't go to school picking on nobody or trying to be a bully. You know? I was just like an awkward guy, I didn't, didn't have the best clothes, you know, so I mean, I used to get talked about. Uh, you know, my mother, she she told me, taught me growing up the golden rule, just treat others the way you want to be treated. Parents and teachers and other authoritative figures should pay more attention to it and, and, and take training to recognize when it's going on. They might be afraid to tell. They, they, they think that consequences might get worse. So it's something, I mean, because it's not right. That's all you can really do. Like, no really, there's really no point of resorting to violence or anything. Just a lot of people out there that need guidance. A lot of guidance. And the ones that need guidance, the ones are the you know, single parent families and don't have their parents in their life and stuff like that because this is the type of stuff that happens. Those who are bullies, you know, they really need to change, their, change themselves and change their lives because that's, that's not cool. It's just an unfortunate situation and we gotta figure out ways to, to, to be better.